Hi everybody, I'm Lisa from Rose Balling by Lisa and welcome to my studio. It's a little messy and I have a lot of stuff going on but I wanted to share my uh, a little video today about my uh, welcome signs that I've been working on. So let me get you set up here. Okay, here we go. Don't get dizzy. All right. One, two, three. You're almost set up there. Okay, good. All right, so I've been working on welcome signs. Some of you who have been following my page have seen it. So this is, obviously it's not the actual welcome sign, but this is a copy of a sign I just finished based on a piece like this. Uh, this is, I think it's 13 by, in, 13 by 6 inches in size. This piece, though it looks like it was black, is actually done on Galaxy Blue. Um, so I came up with this pattern for this piece, and then I decided that I really like this pattern, so I'm going to replicate it on a few different pieces with different backgrounds. Um, so you can see, now typically when I do a pattern, let's see if you can see the lines. I really should have marked that out. Hold on, I have one that's better. There we go, how's that? All right, so when I initially did this design, I chalked out a basic square and I followed off of that and then I free handed it in. But I really like this design, so I'm gonna translate it to a few different pieces. So as you can see, I've already done one in a blue haze background. This background is a Norwegian orange. You can see how I have the pattern on there. And this is an ivory white that I've been working on this morning. Uh, hard to see the pattern, but it is done in yellow. So I'm going to continue with this one. Again, I paint with acrylics. I use Joe Sonia paints, uh, and I use a wet palette. And I have a medium set here. Whoops, let me make sure this doesn't fall apart here. So thank you again for joining me, and thank you for those who have subscribed to my channel. Um, that was definitely just kind of a whim to kind of start with. And uh, let's see. All right. So my husband was good enough to get me a um, stand here for my camera, so hopefully you like this. So I have a scroll right here, and I'm going to take that and bring it down. Now again, typically... I freehand most of my patterns in, but since I'm working on variations of this design, it was uh, important to put the pattern down beforehand so I can see it. And I'll do another video with the red one, that would be easier to see, but my palette isn't set up to do the red piece yet. It's really set up to do uh, backgrounds on either the white or the blue. So again, this is a Joe Sonia paint, and right now my dark blue is Prussian blue mixed with burnt sienna, and it gives this nice rich color on there. I have a little bit of medium on my brush to get flow with it because I want a little transparency. Okay. I'll wipe my brush out, a little water, get a little more out. I might dip into a little warm white here and pull in this warm white color right down here. You know, I'll look back at, I don't know what I did with it. Hmm, what did I do with my original? Oh, there it is. So I'll look back at this for ideas um, to kind of keep it within the same genre but I'm not too worried about making it exact because, you know, we're not robots. We're uh, human beings and we're not meant to exactly replify everything or replicate everything that you've done before. So it's really okay if you have some difference here. So I have a nice C stroke there. I'm going to lift this up and around. I might need a little medium. I do a medium, if you're familiar with Joe Sonia Paints, it's uh, one to one to one flow to glaze to retarder. Um, something I learned a long time ago from a wonderful artist named Arlene Newman. Some of you may know her out there. Wonderful decorative artist. 
I was able to take rose modeling classes with her back when we had them in New Jersey. It was the Garden State Rose Modeling Association. Oh yeah, so for those who are new to my channel, this is rose modeling. It's a Norwegian art form that goes back to the uh, late 1600s, but it's very familiar throughout Europe. It's those C strokes, those S strokes, those cantus leaves. Okay, so let me pull in. I bring you a little warm white there. Give you a little variation. I just completed a couple other welcome signs in this blue. Um, there you go. I kind of give you an idea of what the finished product might look like. Um, I enjoy working in monochromatics from time to time. And again, this is kind of the fun thing with the fact that I'm doing a few variations of this same design. Okay, so now I have a center flower down here. Again, it's really hard to see. Maybe if I bring it really close, you can kind of see the pattern there. And maybe not, <laughs> you know. So as I've said in past videos, I am obviously not a professional at uh, my video techniques and I'll learn as I go along. All right. So please be patient with the process, but I hope you enjoy watching. Okay, so we have a nice little C, a nice little C, and a nice long S. Let me pull that around. I bring a little aqua in there to add variety. Now, acrylic paint da dries darker than when it first appears on the piece. So sometimes you need to go back afterwards and go over it to try to get the, the true color you're looking for. Sometimes it looks just nice just the way it is. So, you know, it's a process. Isn't that everything in life? Everything in life is a process. Nothing worth achieving happens overnight. <laughs> you know, you just have to work at it. Sometimes people forget that gratification in life is not always instantaneous. And sometimes the best gratification in life is the ones you really work for. Okay, so those are my words of wisdom for today. All right, let's go back over here. Let me move that. As you can see, I have kind of a canvas down here that has a pattern on it that one day I might play with. Now, I put that down on my wood table, my wood desk here that my husband was good enough to make for me many years ago because I found that as I move my pieces around, it makes quite the scratching sound. Uh, some people might find that actually a soothing sound. Uh, some might find it a little grating, kind of like nails, your fingernails on a chalkboard. You know, that never appealed to me, that sound. Okay, so I have my nice little strokes coming in here. And as you can see, I just keep pulling the brush towards me. If you notice, I move my little welcome sign, so I'm really pulling the brush strokes towards me. Now, this medium that I have helps it so that the acrylics haven't dried instantaneously. I can play a little bit. Uh, rose modeling is typically done in oils traditionally, and you get a lot more play time with that. Okay, it's coming along pretty nicely there. All right, let's see if we can get a little bit on this other side. All right, my sepal is down here. I know it's there. Uh, clean my brush out so I have my water basin here ready for me to use. If you notice I have my brushes over here. I actually have them in a wet paper towel. I have a bunch of projects going on so I have a few brushes ready to go. But I have them in a wet paper towel wrapped in plastic wrap and this way my brushes can sit in there with the paint on it and stay fresh. I don't have to clean them out instantaneously, which is quite lovely because sometimes you get called off to go drive a child here or take a dog out or do whatever and you don't really have time to clean out all your brushes. Oh, that needs a little medium in it. 
a little too dry. Let's freshen that up a little bit. Okay, there comes the base of my flower there. I'm going to add a little bit of aqua. Let me pull it through. Okay, a little bit here, a little bit there. We'll pull it up this way. There we go. Okay. We'll pull some this way. All right, I want to try to match it as closely as possible to the other side. But again, like I said before, I'm not a robot. I'm not meant to be a robot. And you know what? Isn't it nice to have variety in life? Isn't it nice that we're not all just replicating the same thing? We're not copying each other. We're all individuals. And isn't that how it should be with art? So when you try a piece, you do different stuff, you experiment. Remember, it's your piece. It's supposed to look like yours. You want it to have that nice feel to it that is yours and have that accomplishment. So I am working on creating patterns um, so that if you do want to try this pattern and make it yours, uh, you'll be able to. I'm going to soon have them and other patterns out on my Etsy page. So I have an Etsy page called uh, Art of Lisa, L-I-S-E, Creations. And I have a variety of stuff on there, though... My wooden wear is a little lacking right now, so I'm working on building up stock. Uh, but I've been busy painting commissions for people, and I'll be teaching. In fact, tomorrow I will be teaching. Tomorrow is October 26th. I'll be teaching in Bronx, Pennsylvania at Steph's Folk Art Studio. Uh, and actually I'll be teaching tomorrow and Sunday, so the 26th and the 27th. Um, so again, that's at Steph's Folk Art Studio, Bronx, Pennsylvania. Ooh, that's a little off. A little out of balance there. Let me see if I can help that along there. So, let me pull it over here. Uh, it's funny, as, as you look back, you're like, oh, wait a second, I kind of missed something there. And that's the problem with having a uh, yellow as your lines underneath. It's kind of hard to say. You know, thank goodness for glasses. All right, so let's see here. Well, this looks pretty nice, don't you think? Add a little bit there, a little bit here. All right, next time I'll put together the detailing on it. I hope you guys, let me... Come see my face. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I look forward to seeing you all sometime soon. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.